In the diagram below of circle O, points K, A, T, I, and E are on circle. Triangle K, A, E and triangle I, T, E are drawn. Arc K, E is congruent to E, I. So I am going to indicate that with a highlighter. So K, E is congruent to E, I. So those two arcs are congruent. Uh, angle E, K, A is congruent to E, I, T. So I'm going to use a pen, E, K, A, congruent to E, I, T. There you go. All right. So uh, which statements about triangle K, A, E and triangle I, T, E is always true? So looking at this information right now, we need to recall some theorems about um, circle geometry. And that is, if I have congruent arcs, they will intercept congruent chords. So what, which chords are going to be congruent as a result of this? Chord KE will be congruent to IE because they both intercept congruent arcs. Another circle geometry theorem is if you have congruent inscribed angles, they will also intercept congruent chords. So which chords are going to be congruent uh, which other chords are going to be congruent here? Well, we're going to have chord AE is going to be congruent to chord TE. And how do I know that? Well, that's because the intercepted, uh, the inscribed angle that this chord intercepts is um, is e -A -E -K -A, right? So again, let me just point this out. Uh, so this angle over here that I am coloring right now, is congruent to this angle over here. So therefore, the chords that they intercept, those inscribed angles, those chords are going to be congruent as well. Okay? And, uh, oh, and we can also make the, a very similar argument, and that is um, inscribed angles intercepting uh, congruent arcs, those inscribed angles are also going to be congruent. So this angle over here, is going to be congruent to angle T, that inscribed angle there, because angle A and angle T, they intercept congruent arcs. They intercept arc KE and arc EI, right? So what could be said about, um, what could be said about triangle KAE and triangle ITE? It looks like these two triangles are going to be congruent. Why? Well, we have a, a angle, angle, side relationship, right? Where's this angle, angle, side coming from? Well, we have an angle, angle, and a side. Or it could be angle, angle, and then K, uh, core KE, whichever way you look at it, okay? But again, we have angle, angle, and a side. So all of um, those are the reasons for why the two triangles are going to be congruent. And don't be confused, there's no such thing as side-side angle, even though we, have, we do have two corresponding sides um, that are congruent. Uh, but because we don't have the um, included angle there, we cannot say side-angle-side. And there's no such thing as angle-side-side. Side. All right, so which option best fits um, our way of thinking here. Let's take. Uh, they are neither congruent nor similar. That's definitely false because we just showed that they are congruent. Uh, option two, they are similar but not congruent. They are most definitely congruent. They are right triangles. We have not proven that they are right triangles. They are congruent. So that would be option four.